What's going on everyone? I'm making this video because I just have a very bad sequence of bad luck and I need to document this shit because it's surreal. It's like Hollywood couldn't come up with this shit, but yeah, I gotta, make, I gotta document this. So I'm off only on Sundays and Mondays. It's towards the end of the month. Like today's the 28th. Um, I got to get all my shit out of my old place and into the new place. So Saturday, I'm working. I get out at 8. I get back home around 9, 30, 10. And um, my wife tells me, we're, we're going to clean the place up. We're going to hire some workers, uh, cleaning people to clean up the new place up. And to celebrate you know, having the place finally clean, let's eat out, you know, I know a spot, it's a friend of mine, let's go eat out, so we did just that, the place looks spotless, so we eat out, and around 11 p.m., my lips start swelling up, I didn't go to anaphylactic shock, so I know that the allergy that I was going through wasn't that serious, but I definitely needed Benadryl around 11 p.m., so I had to get up and go to the bodega, deli, whatever you want to call it. Um, sorry, there's some hair in my eye or something. I don't know. Um, so I take the Benadryl. The swan goes down. I forget to charge my phone. I wake up late because of the Benadryl. And I wake up groggy because of the Benadryl. And my phones are at like, you know, like in the red zone because of Benadryl, I forgot to charge it. So yeah, I start, you know, showering, brushing my teeth, whatever. I'm like, fuck, I woke up late. I gotta get the U-Haul. I gotta start moving all my shit out because I only got a couple of days left, you know? So my wife calls me and says, hey, can you check this out real quick? Um, the so the stove's center burner is not working and the knob is probably it's it's loose so i come and inspect the stove come to find out the stove's knob is messed up the valve the solenoid valve that feeds the burner gas is messed up and the igniter's messed up and turns out Throughout the whole time that the cleaning ladies completed their job, they messed up the stove. It was spewing out small bits of gas. And I confirmed this because I said, babe, open up all the windows. Once we aired out the place, I took a piece of, like I, I lit the, the, the stove, the burner piece, and it lit. I'm like, oh shit, this thing's still spewing out gas. I look to my wife, I'm like, yo, why didn't the carbon monoxide detector go off and she's like we don't have a carbon monoxide detector i'm like really we could have died you know that okay i go on amazon real quick i find a three pack smoke detector carbon monoxide combo for 50 bucks i order it done deal so now i have a stove that's leaking gas so I immediately go towards the cutout valve that feeds the stove the gas and it's missing the lever. So I'm like, I'm not touching that because if I fuck something up, I could be held liable. So I call up maintenance and I tell them, yo, my gas, my, my stove is leaking gas. Send someone up here because the lever's not there. Send someone up. Took forever for them to do it, but they got it done. The stove was, you know, it was, it was completely shut off. Now my wife is, you know, complaining that, you know, they, she can't cook. So I go on Amazon, I buy uh, a two electric countertop burners. It's basically two heating elements and it's like electric, like counter plate, whatever stove for $31. Now I'm late to U-Haul. So I go to U-Haul. Oh, before the U-Haul. I um, now now I'm looking at a, a stove that's essentially leaking gas and needs to be fixed. So I call up Frigidaire because I had a Frigidaire gallery. Call them up. 
the parts to repair everything comes up to be $266. So me and my wife are looking at each other and now we have to contemplate whether we should repair it or fit or buy a new one. So that's still in the gist. So any way you look at it, I'm looking at either a, a $266 expense or a brand new stove, which is definitely over $600. So anyways, I said, look, listen, Labor Day's next week. There has to be some sale. We'll figure this shit out later because I got to get to U-Haul and start fucking moving my shit out. <sighs> so I had the allergy attack coming to find out I almost died because of carbon monoxide poisoning. Fucked up stove. Gas line being fucked up because it was missing a lever. It gets worse. Get a U-Haul. Mind you, remember, my batteries are almost dead. I I brought like a car charger with me. Car charger. The, the cigarette lighter doesn't work. Fuck. So I had to drive home. Get an external battery. Because I have no time to fix this. You know, I can't just go back and be like, give me a new truck. You know, time is money, and yo, like, honestly, they charge $2 a mile. I'm already invested, so I'm charging my phones up with the external battery, portable external battery charger. So I go, and I pick up some workers to help me out with the move. And mind you, I didn't eat shit today, because I had to deal with the stove, and this, that, and the third... So I'm like, I'm going to go stop by and get some uh, pizza. I thought it was going to be an in-and-out thing. It's a 15-foot it's a truck, so it, it, it's a V8. So it's got a Ford. It was a Ford Triton V8. So I'm like, yo, this shit's a gas hog. So I turn off the car, get some, I get some pizza, come back. The battery's dead. Fuck my life. And I got two workers that are on the clock. So I'm like, yo, I got to get to my car, which is at my new place. <sighs> I get the GB40 NOCO portable booster pack, jump it, get to the destination, we're running late. It was a round trip for the Uber, I had to go get it, come back. $20, $20, and plus, let's just say whatever with the workers. So I get to the, the old spot, we start initiating the move, and yeah, um, I, had, I had my portable battery, I had my noco gb40 to jump start the car if i ever need to shut it off and jump it back up again because it's got a messed up battery as long as you keep the car on the car will stay running no matter what so yeah so we get there we start moving obviously i don't meet my deadline to return the truck so i gotta get charged an extra day then I'm like, whatever, so let's keep doing what we're doing. We do everything. I pay the guys. They leave. I'm about to lock the truck because I'm going to leave it there. No point in driving to my place. Whatever. I already had too much because tomorrow I got to go see the new psychiatrist. I got two job interviews. I got to get a haircut. That's why I look so fresh. I try locking it. Things not locking fuck call my dad i'm like yo dad i'm gonna send you an uber i need you to come here and babysit the truck i had camping chairs in the back i took one out placed it there i'm like i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna grab my abus granite insurance lock it's a heavy duty lock again forty dollars to the new place grabbed the lock came back locked it and i had to uber my dad home so that too was another forty dollars. So forty, forty, eighty dollars right there. Fuck. Not to mention I gotta pay an extra fee. 
extra day for the thing. Oh, then I come to find out that my barber is like, yo, I'm not feeling well. I don't think I could cut you. I'm like, fuck. Yo, first things first, I look like a straight up bum. You know what I mean? I get, I get scripted controlled substances. If I'm going to be seeing this new psychiatrist, you know, I would prefer to look presentable and like a normal human being instead of a bum. So anyways, um, and I got two job interviews. So yeah, but he finally cuts me. I could have died, man. I really could have died. This is some shit. Oh. Allergy, stove buying shit online, Ubering myself to the U-Haul truck. Wow. What, like, all these sequences, like, I, it's, it, it drained me. It really did. And truth be told, I'm tired. I'm dirty. I'm just mentally fucking just tired. All right, guys. Peace.